Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Michael, Oregon Sweet Leaf Revival. Um, got some important news coming out of Washington in the Puget Sound area. Bay Area Consortium and a couple others, uh, medical dispensaries, got their doors kicked in today by the DEA. Um, and had their patient records and medicine taken from them today in a legal state in Washington, folks. You know, Washington just passed their medical marijuana bill and then they just legalized it all the way outright. And so anybody older, over the age of 21 or older, can purchase it and use it at their choice or free choosing. Anyways, um, three places got their doors kicked in today up there. Folks, so many people have said in the past 40 years that I know of, many great folks, many, many, many passionate advocates for this plant's freedom. And why do we need to write more addendums to new rules, to new regulations that aren't going to frickin' protect the patient anyway? Because according to what I know, today in Washington, patients' records were taken and patients' medicine was stolen from them by the DEA. In Washington. Washington, United States. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure what's really happening in Colorado. I've, all, all I've heard is great things about what's going on in Colorado and with Colorado's program. But that doesn't mean shh. That doesn't mean nothing. I'm trying to watch my language. Uh, it, it doesn't mean nothing. Uh, it's quite obvious it doesn't mean anything if, if, if you know, things are going on in Washington. So, I'm going to keep my eye on it. And you know I'm going to keep my ear to the ground. Try to get some information, more information out there. So that you patients can get more active. Um, folks, that's what Oregon Sweet Leaf Revival is about in the first place. It's about doing it for yourself with one free plant you can do it for yourself and 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 then at that point you know it's about the choices you make and about the relationship you build with the plant that you build your life around and it sickens me that Washington state folks who voted this new law into effect making possession and, and consumption of marijuana legal for those over 21. Those that worked their, their tails off, spent their hard-earned money, pounded the pavement, got the votes, got the voters' knowledge out there. It hurts me to death to know that these poor folks, it, it shows them today that it means absolutely nothing. Three dispensaries, folks. Really sad. Patients, unite. Join Oregon Sweet Leaf Revival. Get a hold of us. Contact us. You know, everything we do for you is free as a patient. You caregivers out there, if you can prove to us that you're compassionate towards your patient by introducing us to your lovely patient, we would be glad to work with you too. Sorry, growers. My patients, they grow for themselves. So I don't need your assistance, but you can keep out there, keep working on those that do need your assistance. And if there are good growers out there that want to try to get approval by Oregon Sweet Leaf Revival, you know, from a patient's perspective, you contact us as well. We'd be lovely. We'd love to be able to come over and I'd love to be able to share my garden with yours and, and be able to share thoughts and ideas from one grower to another. Maybe we can learn something with each other. I don't think that uh, it's going to matter, though. I think that when all this crap boils down and we get all this stuff passed, it's not going to matter anyways. Come on, folks. This happened today in Washington. Three dispensaries in the Puget Sound area. Bay Area Consortium was one of them, and they're pretty good size over there. Uh, wow. Patients' medical records, their medicine, ripped off, gone. It's sad, man. It's sad, folks.
We need to make a national call, folks. We need to make a national call to those folks that we pay the high dollar up in, up at the Capitol Hill and up there on the on the mountain up there in Washington, D.C. We need to make a call, folks. We need to call these people and say, why are these people's rights not being protected? Why are they not being protected, folks? Why is their medicine being taken? Why are their files and records being taken from them? Okay, this is personal information. Medical records. It saddens me. This is a sad day in America, man. You know, when George Washington says we should grow it, sow it, and plant it everywhere, you know, when our, when our, our nation got started and now we got idiots on Capitol Hill that think it's okay to go ahead and rip patients off. Yeah, man. I say we fire our politicians. We find somebody to run it, you know. It's a sad, sad day, man. And I don't even, you know, from what I've been able to get from the uh, Bay Area Consortiums, the one of the owners that spoke, the only thing I could get out of that guy was he thought he was being robbed, folks. He, he thought somebody was just trying to come in and rob the patient's dispensary. You know, these dudes in black vans and crap show up and right out of the random blue madness of the day, man, kick in the door and, and, and take everything. <laughs> they left nothing. They broke cases. They went through crap. You know, just like a robber would. But, you know, these folks are sanctioned robbers from the big mafioso themselves. We all know who they are. Well, any folks out there in Washington, uh, you got any new information, you get a hold of us. We'd like to talk to you. Uh, anybody in Oregon want to talk about this, go ahead and send us an email. We can maybe even get it on our live Ustream. So, uh, until next time, folks, I'm going to take a little bit of this Blackberry and as God you got us says, Sharing is caring. Good night, Cannabis Land. We love you.